I became interested in uh, like a cosmology because I noticed that uh, I didn't have uh, much uh, knowledge of anything uh, recent uh, uh, discovery or whatever uh, about uh, space, you know, about the uh, uh, old James Webb and uh, all this uh, telescope is discovery, including Big Bang and uh, you know, what, how the material is, is created or something like that on Earth. Uh, so, uh, but that was like my passion and I think it, it was a really, really good hobby of mine uh, that uh, I could get into that because uh, uh, by doing so, I think I feel better. I feel better understanding a little bit, not, not a lot, but uh, uh, you know, some of the books are very, very difficult to understand and, uh, uh, you know, even for me, who is an uh, engineer and uh, got into the uh, lots of mathematics and everything, but still, it's very, very difficult, especially like a quantum mechanics and uh, all the cosmologies of, uh, you know, Big Bang. Uh, if you go deeper and deeper, it becomes like a, it, to me, it's not like a, yeah, not feasible, not understandable, whatever they are talking about, because they themselves are not understanding that much, and they speculate and hypothesis and everything create this theory, and it's almost like a uh, today it's like a theory is the basic of uh, uh, this uh, fundamental uh, phenomena. And uh, so I went to a couple of weeks ago, I went to the uh, library and I was looking for some books of, uh, uh, you know, quantum mechanics or something. And then I found this, Kak Michio Kaku's uh, God Equation, the God Equation, the book. It's a very tiny, uh, small book and the subtitle is A Quest for Theory of everything. The theory of everything, I got to know the term uh, as, uh, you know, the Stephen Hawking uh, talking about theory of everything. You know. So I got to know that, but uh, yeah, and uh, today I think uh, those cos cosmology uh, research people are trying to get theory of everything so that, you know, the traditions of Einstein to establish theory of everything, uh, you know, including the, uh, uh, you know, the Einstein theory of including everything, including gravity, and uh, so forth that uh, uh, you can express the entire <coughs> quantum mechanics as well as the, you know, the cosmology. Uh, what is a big band and you know, all these things uh, comes up with the one equation and that's fantastic and uh, so reading this and I, I really love this book uh, because some of the textbook or books are very very cumbersome to read because there's a lot of equations there but in this book there's no equation there's no single mathematical equation some some are drawing and, but uh, those drawing and the, and the explanation is very, very, uh, I think, a layman's uh, mind, uh, I think, uh, trying to explain uh, people who understand more or less like a classical uh, mechanics, dynamics, Newton's, you know, gravities and so forth. Uh, you know, so, so they, they are uh, in mind, they uh, written. This book is written by Michio Kaku to explain all these things. What's the today's like a you know th quest for the theory of everything, and so uh, it's like a string theory and uh, multiverse. I think it very very beginning the first chapter he said that well the theory of everything could be string theory or multiverse theory, but the both theory, uh, as you read this, 
is becoming a very, very theoretical conjecture, you know, but it still it explains everything, it explains uh, more or less like a beautifully, uh, they say symmetry of the theory, which is like, a, you know, you can understand beautifully that, you know, if you have a left, there's a right, and uh, you have a top and a bottom, and uh, you, you know, like a circle or the Sophia is a very symmetrical thing, and uh, that's very, very beautiful and understandable. So, all these things, uh, I think uh, uh, Michio Kaku explained in this, and that, uh, in the way that uh, because he doesn't use any mathematical equations or anything, um, you know, for the layman's point of view, it's easy to understand. And easy to understand that you understand as much, uh, not going to the detail. You understand what uh, people are debating, what is their uh, researcher today is thinking of, and uh, so forth. So, yeah, I think uh, uh, this I really recommend for anybody who has this curiosity of today's cosmology or today's quantum mechanics, uh, who wants to know more about it, but, uh, you know, kind of afraid of getting into it because, you know, most of the time you don't understand what they're talking about. But this, I think you, you understand it. I think you, I understand it the way he talks about it. And uh, that's good enough for me now. Uh, I like to read more about quantum mechanics, uh, you know, quarks and uh, all these things that uh, today's quantum mechanics is very, very different from uh, probably like, uh, you know, 50 years ago. So uh, it is a very nice in introduction to that too. So yeah, I'm glad I read that and it's very, very enjoyable to read. I think I couldn't stop it once you start to read. It's very easy to read and uh, uh, yeah, it's like a captivating um, argument and theory uh, there. And so uh, you kind of uh, uh, get into that and uh, uh, you know, you don't have to understand the details of it, but uh, you, you understand like vaguely what they're talking about. Uh, so I think that is the this book, The God Equation. So I recommend for anyone who is interested in uh, quantum mechanics and, uh, you know, the space, cosmology, uh, that type of thing, uh, I really recommend that. Very, very nicely uh, written book there. Okay?